Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, for today guys, I'm going to do part 201 to my random chat bot sessions. For in the last video guys, again we start, we continue talking to this electric type typhlosion. I'm going to try to finish up the conversation today, and I might show you guys the ghost Pokemon one I made. Although for me it's going to be extremely, 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 extremely depressing. You'll see why if you hear the description of it. In fact, I don't think I'll be able to say it out loud completely at some part. Well, let's just say something that happened, something similar that happened to Lugia with the robot Lugia when happened to the ghost Pokemon you're going to be talking to. Let's just say it that way, okay? Anyway. Ooh. The Typhlosion looks surprised and replies, he actually gave you one of his spikes? Do you still have it with you? If so, can I see it? Sure. Period. But he said to hold on tight to it. So unfortunately, I can only let you look. Let you look. Look! Again, I do the flipping southern accent and it gets the word look perfectly. The man, I'm trying to say it normally in my own voice and it, I swear I could do Kroganaw's voice and probably pick it up more. Are you kidding me? The Typhlosion nods in agreement. Alright, I promise I won't try to take it from you. I do really want to see it though, just because I'm really curious as to what it looks like. Alright, here it is. I pull out the spike that the fairy type... Gave to me. Hey. Hey, that's cool. The Typhlosion looks at the spike a little bit in awe and responds. Wow, that is a really cool looking spike. I can't believe that you actually have one. It's so amazing. The only reason I got it was because he trusted me. I would really hate to break that trust. Uh. The Typhlosion nods again in understanding. Yeah, I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to break somebody's trust either. That spike must really mean a lot to you. That's the door was heck, actually. It ain't just the fact that it means a lot to me. Period. That. Said that if it falls into an evil person's hands... It can actually get corrupted. Oh my gosh. The Typhlosion looks at you in a little bit of shock. What? That spike can actually get corrupted? What happens if it does? That's absolutely horrifying to hear about. The only thing I know is that he said if somebody evil holds it for too long, I think it can make them 
even more evil or something like that. I don't quite remember the whole detail. Like, he said something about amplifying good people's energy if they flip and have it. Wow. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to do, period. I know you weren't evil or anything. I just don't want anything to happen. Especially... After gaining that Pokemon's trust. Trust. Yeah. Yeah, okay. The Typhlosion nods in understanding replies. I completely understand how important it is to keep that spike safe and out of evil hands. And don't worry, I won't try anything. I'm just really curious about it right now. That's fine, that's question point. I'm glad you understand. Part of me also wants to do that dead gum ghost one, but I, I just don't want to because I feel like it's gonna be more depressing to me. Me having to rush through it and see if it works right. That's a thing. It actually worked with most Pokemon too. But it's very sad because whatever point you use means that that Pokemon. Uh, let's just say. <clears throat> I can't say the actual word, I'm not saying it. The Typhlosion nods in agreement again. Good, I don't want you to get uncomfortable or anything. I'm just extremely curious. That spike really does sound super dangerous though. I guess that's why he only gives it out to people he trusts. Period. He said he could sense the good and evil in people's hearts. Flippin' s- mm. The Typhlosion thinks for a moment before asking, wait, he can actually tell good evil apart inside people's hearts? That is really incredible. I wish I could do that. I have gotten tricked by Team Rocket before. Uh, of course not. That's not good. He also gets overly protective to the people he trusts. Period. Like I said earlier, he went to beat up that dude just because he made fun of one of his species. Huh. Wait, wait. Wait. I... Oh, hold up. Listen to this. The Typhlosion nods in agreement. Yeah, I understand that too. I tend to get really protective over friends and people I trust as well. I tend to go really overkill if they ever get hurt though. Uh... 
What do you mean by overkill? This thing might censor it. I don't know. Oh no. It's gonna say oh no, it didn't. Oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> What do you do, Typhlosion? The Typhlosion responds. I mean that I go completely off the rails when somebody that I care about gets hurt. I've once used Thunder Cage so much that I almost killed the person that went after them. I have lost myself in my anger so many times that I can't even keep track of it anymore. I don't even give them a chance to run away when that happens. <laughs> Holy frick, dude! That's kind of how I am over Pokemon I care about, especially the line, line, line. <laughs> I get really upset if anybody hurts or picks on them. Yep. Wait. The Typhlosion nods in understanding again. Yeah, same here. For the past six months, I have lived here. He even tries to mess with any of the wild bird Pokemon that live in these mountains. I don't know why, but I guess I care about all of them since they don't have any predator to worry about. I don't let anyone mess with them, though. I will not allow that one bit. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, but he also said that, he's trying to, that he had to flip and keep them away. If that's the case, then why do some of the bird Pokemon attack you? The Typhlosion shrugs. Well, I haven't been able to figure that out for sure yet. I think they are just trying to defend their territories, maybe. Or maybe they are just scared or are trying to impress another Pokemon. Heck, I don't know. They keep attacking me even though I am clearly much stronger than them. I don't understand why. It doesn't really bother me now, though. I have just learned to shrug it off completely. Oh my gosh. Part of me kind of wants to do the flipping ghost poke one, but it's so dark. Dude, I don't want to. This will be one of the darkest characters I've ever made, actually. The Typhlosion looks up at the sky for a moment, then back at you states, Dang, time sure flies by fast, huh? It's already starting to get dark out. We should probably think about going our separate ways soon. Yeah. I'll come back to see you, though. Period. Just please don't accidentally try to attack me. When I do come back. You have my word on that. Ah, oh, freaking ball sack. The Typhlosion nods in agreement. Oh, don't worry. I 
and dead. Alright, I'm going to find my way down the mountain. Period. I'll come back to see you soon. Bye. Ah, uh, hey! I look forward to your next visit. That's cute as heck. The Typhlosion waves responds. All right, safe travels down. I look forward to your next visit. There we go. Part of me, actually, I'm so stupid. I have four more characters. Well, three now since I just talked to the ghost type. type say ghost type, grass type. I mean electric type Typhlosion. I still have the three forms of the Kiram. That I made my own version of. Although I know the I know the ghost pole one's not going to take that one to get through. But the story for it's very dark. Let me get pull up my phone real quickly, guys, and then I'll we'll get back to it.